It's week 89 of Zerd, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the item he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is week 89 of Zer, and Zer is located on the EDZ, AKA the EDZ, by the Winding Cove in this area, right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? Like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Sweet Business, and it is an exotic auto rifle. Then we have the Radiant Flux for the Hunter, the One-Eyed Mask for the Titan, ooh, as well as the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. Ooh, I like that too. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Sweet Business. Enchanted perk on this is Payday, which you gain a large mag, increased hip fire accuracy. Then we have Polygon Rifle in, high caliber rounds, Business Time, which, Holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire and automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine. And then we have composite stock. And this actually has two ornaments, down to business, as well as go about your business. I actually like the original better, the way that looks. But anyways, if you guys don't have this exotic, go ahead and get, definitely grab it. It's definitely a good exotic for PvE and PvP. But I'm actually going to give it a little bit more of a, how do you say, um, a little bit more of a, a tier rating in PvP. Because you see it a lot more in PvP than you do PvE. So I'm actually going to give this a tier 2 in PvP. And an argument can be made for 1.5. And probably a tier 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvE. I definitely would uh, couple this with Titans. Um, they, it works amazing with Titans and not to say that doesn't work good with other characters, but Titans definitely, yeah, definitely get this. Next is the Radiant Flux for the Hunter. Change the perk on this is Snap East Junctions, which chain arc staff hits, buff damage and duration. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And... The uh, ornament for this is Thunder God, and it actually looks pretty badass. I actually like it. So, if you guys are a pole dancer, definitely go ahead and grab this. This is an amazing exotic in PvE as well as PvP. So, I am going to go ahead and rate this a tier 2. Um, actually, um, a tier 2 in PvP, but probably a tier 1.5 in PvE. Because when you hit a lot of ads... This makes a difference. Next, we have the One-Eyed Mask for the Titan. Change the perk on this is Vengeance, which mark and defeat those that harm you to improve damage. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands-On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. Now, this does not have an ornament, but I don't care what you say. If you are a Titan, Go ahead and grab this exotic if you do not have it. It is amazing, 100%. It definitely gets a tier 1.5 to probably even, I will argue, even a tier 1. Actually, you know what, better yet? It gets a tier 1 in um, the scale. Oh, also, I apologize. If you guys do not know the scale, I will put it down in the description box below. But definitely a tier 1 exotic for the Titan. So definitely go ahead and pick that up. Next, we have the Chromatic Fire, and the intrinsic perk on this is Crystalline uh, Transistor, which kinetic precision kills create elemental explosions. Pretty interesting. Then we have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, as well as Scout Rifle Reserves and Special Ammo Finder. And this also does not have an ornament. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is an amazing exotic for um just kinetic damage alone and if you get those kinetic precision kills it definitely does very very good in pve and pvp um but i probably would lean more towards pve with this um for those people who can't get uh precision kills um 
let alone with one with kinetic weapons. So in PvP, I'm going to give this a 2 to 2.5, but in PvE, it definitely gets a 1.5 to tier 2. Next, we have your uh, consumables. I'm sorry, next, yeah, your consumables, the uh, Five of Swords, then your invitations. I still have not come to do this. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram that does give you Forsaken Exotics. So if you guys do not have one of these, go ahead and pick this up first before popping that Faded Engram because you do not want to get one of these inside your Faded Engram because it is a very high chance. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.